Welcome to Shelley's Cuisine. Fellow Twisters, due to the tremendous response of Dave doing the three essential knives that you need to have in your kitchen, Dave has so graciously agreed to come back and show us how to use these knives and the proper cutting techniques. Right, Dave? Absolutely. Thank you for having me back. No problem. And Dave is going to give you a <clears throat> quick recap on the three essential knives, and then we're going to jump right into the essential cutting techniques. So knife number one, from what you remember, is the paring knife. And this is your all purpose for your fruits and vegetables, like your smaller items, like your strawberries, your lemons, your limes, pairing, things like that. So that's knife number one. Knife number two was your utility knife or your trimmer, what we call it. And this is your tomato knife. This is also for trimming the fat off of meats, smaller or your bigger vegetables, grapefruits, bigger oranges, things like that. So that's your trimmer right there. And knife number three is the staple in everyone's kitchen, which is the chef knife. So this is for your onions, peppers, garlic, herbs, chopping salads, things like that. So that's your uh, chef knife right there. That's unusual. A red knife, Dave? Yeah. Some of our customers love it. So All right. It's pretty popular. I'm not for the red. I have the traditional brown. All right. So let's jump right into the essential cutting knife tips. Let's do it. <clears throat> so when it comes to a knife itself, you do want to have something that's well balanced and comfortable in your hand. So you do want it to have a good grip and there's a couple different ways to hold it, but this is how ours is designed. And so you want it to be well balanced as well. You don't want it to be too light or too heavy. So you do want it, uh, a well balanced knife. Uh, also, as far as the technique for when you're going to cut, uh, you want to have what we call like a claw grip. And that's when you're going to be holding the food and guiding the knife and protecting your fingers. With yeah, because we don't want them cut off. <laughs> no, you don't want to end up like me. So, But uh, the front knuckle on your hand here is going to be protecting your fingertips and guiding the knife back as you're cutting with the food. So I can do this without even looking and I know I'm not going to cut myself because my finger is what's feeling the knife as I cut along. Okay. So that, and then as far as the type of slice or chop that you're gonna use, generally with a chef knife like this, you're gonna to wanna to use the point on the cutting board and use a rocking chopping motion like this. And you can support the knife with your other hand as you're going along. Uh, if you're dicing and chopping you know, onions, which you'll see and, and other stuff, or if you're holding the food, you still wanna use that rocking and chopping motion. You can also slice depending on what you're cutting uh, depending on the size or food. Um, and the one thing that you just don't want to really do is just hack away at stuff because you could either carelessly hurt yourself or damage the knife over time. It's going to dull it really quickly. Or hack off the finger. Yep. There you go. So we're going to dive right in to the first okay. item we are going to cut, which is your nice Jersey tomato right here. So the first tool we're going to use is our tomato knife, our trimmer, and this is, everybody knows how to cut a normal slice, just like you're cutting, cutting bread or whatever, um, but I'm going to show you a new technique today that will help keep the core intact, and you're going to just use the outer skin from the tomato. So That'd be good for making uh, salsa. Absolutely, yeah. So you're going to take the knife and you're going to hold it at a little bit of an angle here. I'm going to use the claw grip and you're just going to cut around the outer part of the tomato and then curl it around. You're going to follow the curve around and you're going to get a nice slice just like this right here. And then you're going to turn the tomato and it's kind of like panels as you're going around the tomato. You'll see that as, as I'm cutting here and you're going to cut around and that way the seeds and the core are going to stay intact and then you can just discard that when you're done. So go around the edge, cut around. That's pretty good because then I have to take out all the seeds and the core 
And I did not know this technique, so thank you for that, Dave. Yeah, it's pretty nifty. And then once you're done with this, you have your giant core right here, and I'm just gonna toss that right away. And then now you have the... Do you turn it over? You can. So yeah, if, you wanna, if you wanna make it on a flat surface, uh, so it's not rolling and, and rocking, that, that's generally better. So you can turn it this way, and if you have a good serrated knife to use, that's gonna get through the thick skin on the tomato a lot better than a straight edge knife would. So then you can just make your strips like this. And there we go. And if you wanna cut it up further for whatever dish you're doing, you can chop just, it up. Just dice can, that completely. Yeah, you can chop it across. Yeah. All right. Get all the juices out of it, coming out of it there, so. There we go, and there's chopping your tomato. Let's put it on the board. There we go. All right, sounds good. Absolutely. Yes, and we'll just discard that for now, and yep. Clean up right here. Dave knows that I'm anal about the cleanup, so <laughs> he's trying to do the cleanup. There we go. So that's how to, a new way to cut your tomatoes there and we'll get the, that core out a lot easier for I you. I like that. I'm gonna do cool, that right? from now on, yes. Yep. What are you cutting next? So next we're gonna do the famous onion right here. So there's, so, no, go ahead. I'm sorry, are you gonna cut it two ways? Two ways, so I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm gonna cut one half one way and the other half another way. It's two different, two different styles of cutting here. And what knife we're using, Chef? So we're going to use the chef, the chef knife. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to cut it. This is the root right here. So you're going to cut right through the root. And then once you do that, it actually will help make it a little bit easier to peel. So you can take that outer skin right off. Okay. There we go but keep the root part here. You don't want to take that off. There's a reason why, and you'll see. Now for the, this one half, you will cut off the other half of the onion. And you can just throw that out. Now for this, <clears throat> what you're gonna do is holding it in your claw grip like this, you're just gonna support it and horizontally you're gonna make a couple slices towards the root, but you're not gonna go all the way through. You're gonna stop right where the root is right here, and you'll see why. And then you can do, if you wanna do fine chopped onion, then you're gonna to wanna to make the spacing a little bit closer. But if you wanna make medium or larger slices, then you do them a little bit further apart. Fine is good as if we were gonna make the salsa. There we go. So again, don't go through the root all the way. And I'll do one more here, keeping that finger grip protected there. So that's the one way you're gonna go through it. Now you're gonna turn it, and you're not gonna go through the root again, but you're gonna take the point of the knife and you're gonna make some little slices going through this way. Some pieces might fall off a little bit, that's okay. And you're gonna make some slices down the onion here. And it's gonna spread apart a little bit and like I said, some pieces might fall off. That's okay, that's normal. And then you're gonna hold the knife, or hold the onion, excuse me. And then you're gonna do the, the rocking motion and you're gonna chop straight down, going sideways on it now. And this is gonna have oh, wow. the perfectly diced onion for you. Nice. And then as it gets to this part right here, you can just lay this flat and you can just dice around the outside and you can even get pretty close to the to the root. And then once that's done, and you just toss that. Oops. <laughs> Got to work on my basketball shot there. Yeah, these things happen. And then there okay. are your big salsa chunks of onions right there. All right, let's move them over. Got a big onion here, so. Yeah. 
this is good, but this video is really important for you to really, you know, as you have a good knife, to see how to use your knife, and uh, we can just throw those out there. And uh, just to, uh, you know, have everything how we would need. All right. <clears throat> so that's and the one half of the onion. Now the other half, you can take off the root and the other, and the top part of the onion. And always, if you have something that's round, you always, generally speaking, you wanna get it so that it has a flat side so that the fruit or vegetable is not rocking around while you're chopping it. Yeah, so that's dangerous. Cut, yeah, so you don't cut yourself. So you cut off the top part, cut off the root, peel off that outer layer, yeah, I like to take the bigger one. Yeah, that yep. makes sense. Get that, that thicker one there. And then, there's a couple ways you could do it, but generally if you want to... We want slices if we were going to do fajitas. Yeah. Is that possible with that? Absolutely. So okay. a couple ways, I did just say to put on a flat surface. I kind of cheat a little bit. So you can hold it like this and go this way at an angle. And then as you cut, the pieces will come apart and then you can... If you're putting that in the frying pan or whatever, okay. you can break the pieces off like that. Um, if you are doing it from the top, you can just go from the other side here. So, matter of preference, just make sure your yeah, fingers like are, I feel safe. are still in that claw grip so that you're protecting your knuckles as you're going along. And then getting All those right. nice big pieces of onion there for your uh, fajitas. Okay. There we go. And then I'm gonna break it all up and all right. You there clean she is. up that part, I'll transfer this. You just clean up that part for me. Yep, got it. Yep. All right. Any questions on that? Pretty simple, no, right? Pretty simple. Next, we are going to be doing your famous pepper here. Okay. So this, I'm actually going to use two knives. I'm going to use the first knife in your essential uh, set. And I'm going to use this in conjunction with the chopper. So I'm going to core around the outside right here. And that's the paring knife, right? This is the paring knife, yep. Yeah. And I'm going to take, normally you have the stem here, which you can pull out. But I'm going to take the core out, just like that. Throw that out. And I'm actually going to chop off the bottom here with the Santoku knife. And you switch the knife, so it's important to have more than one knife, guys. Got to have the right tool for the right job. Okay. And then you're going to stand this up. And oh, got a little more there. And you're just going to cut straight down. And you're going to open this up. And then what you're going to do is take your knife and then make your strips and you can cut it in half to cut make cut them even smaller if you want and then here's your strips for your salsa for your fajitas for your salads but you didn't speak about getting out this uh core piece here so Would you just lot, stand a, it up a lot of that came out when we took out the core right here yeah and if you want you can take out the little the, the yeah because i gotta take parts. out the extra yeah yes. that's a little a little more bitter than the rest of the yes. pepper. So you can you can cut those out individually. You can use, okay. actually I'd use a smaller, use the paring knife probably for that. It's a little easier to, to cut that out. And then you'd make the... Uh, yeah, so we could see. Yep. Pepper's all crooked. Yep, and just go like that. And okay. take those little strips out and then continue on with the rest all of the right. strips. Okay, so those are for your side. These are for my side. Yep. Okay. There we go. All right. What's next? Next, we are going to do the basil. This By the way, guys, I have a basil lemonade recipe that is to die for. It's very refreshing. It's on my website. But, uh, you know, basil is used in a lot of different things. So you can drink it, and uh, Dave is going to show us how to chop it. It's one of my favorite recipes, too. It's delicious. So for your basil, uh, you're actually going to take the leaves off from the stems and you're going to stack them here. And you can do this with a, almost any type of leafy 
green that you're going to chop up for a salad or uh, for some other use. Uh, if you have some bigger ones, it's a little bit easier. These are a little on the smaller side, but we can still do it. And you're going to stack them up here. And that's good. I'll just use those. And you're going to roll it almost like you're making like a little cigar ah. out of the leaves here. And take your chopper here. And then you're just going to make some, you can make them thin or thick, depending on what recipe you need it for. Remember, keep your knuckles on the blade there so you're not cutting your fingers off and then you get these nice little ribbons. Yep, I like that. Or if you still want to chop it up more finely, and you can you can just dice it from there. All so right. there's your basil. And so Dave has shown you uh, different knife cutting skills and uh, this is pretty good. It's important that you have good knives, you enjoy cooking and you enjoy the prep. You know, we don't like to prep as much. But anyway, thank you for visiting Shelly's Cuisine. But before I say anything further, Dave, how can we reach you? Sure. The you can, uh, on social media, uh, my website is www.knifeguysfinishlast.com. And same thing on Instagram and Facebook, Knife Guys Finish Last. You can follow right. me there. And there you have that. And thank you for visiting Shelly's Cuisine today and watching Essential Knife Tips with us. And tune in next week to find out what we will twist next. next.